Hello and welcome to the video where we're going to be looking at bond end calculations for your GCSE chemistry. Um, to do this video, um, to get the most out of this video, you're going to calculate a pen and some paper. So just to recap, bond breaking requires energy to be put in. This is an endothermic um, reaction and it's going to have a positive value. Bond breaking releases energy. This is going to be an exothermic reaction and has a negative value. So when we're working out the energy change for a reaction, it's the energy of bond breaking minus the energy of the bond making. So the energy for the reactant side minus the energy for the product side. So here we need to find the energy change when hydrogen gas reacts with chlorine gas and they've given us the equation and they've given us the bond energies. Now in the exams they may or may not give you um, drawings uh, to illustrate the bonds. If they don't, you're going to have to draw these yourself. So, first thing I'd like you to do, the first step is to draw the picture of the, the equation. So, H2 plus Cl2 goes to HCl, and we have two of those. So I'd like you to draw two of those. Then I want you to make a list, draw a line down the middle, and make a list of all of the bonds on either side. So on this side, we have a HH bond, and we have a CLCL bond, and on this side we have a HCL bond. Then I just want to count up the number of things. So and we have one of these, and here we also have one of these. And here, and we actually have two CH, uh, HCl bonds, one here and one here. So now we've worked out what type of bonds and how many bonds we have. I want us to add um, these, the bond energies that we've been given and work those out. So the HH bond, um, it tells us up here that the bond energy is 436 kilojoules per mole and because we have one of those bonds I want to do 1 times 436 which makes 436. So chlorine chlorine bond we can tell from the question the bond energy is 242. We have one of those so 1 times 242 is 242 and then I just want to add those together. So 436 plus 242 equals 678. So the bond energy for hydrogen chlorine bond is 431. And we have two of those. So that's 431 times 2 equals 862. And that's everything we have over this half of the equation. So now we need to do the um, maths, that is the reactants minus the products, so 678 minus 862 equals 678 minus 862 equals minus 184 kilojoules per mole um, and then because this is negative we know this is an exothermic reaction. So in this equation we need to find the energy change when hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas. We've been given the bond energies again and the first thing I want us to do is to draw out the bonds involved in this equation. So H hydrogen and we have two of those so I'm going to draw two of those plus oxygen and you need to know um, that oxygen has a double bond in there. Um, for this type of question I would imagine they would give you um, a picture of the bonds to help you um, work that out. And then we have hydrogen and oxygen together as water and we have two of those. So, draw a line down the middle, list all of the bonds, and we have one, two, 
hydrogen hydrogen bonds and we have one oxygen oxygen double bond oxygen hydrogen bonds we have one two three four of those So a hydrogen hydrogen bond is 436 kilojoules per mole. So 2 times 436 equals 872. Oxygen oxygen double bond is 498 times 1 equals 498. Let's just add those together. So 872 plus 498 equals 1300. And 70. So moving on to the other side of the equation, the oxygen hydrogen bonds, we have four of those and they are 464 kilojoules per mole. So 464 times 4 equals 1856. And that's everything we have in that half of the equation. So reactants minus product. One three seven zero minus one eight five six equals one three seven zero minus one eight five six equals minus four hundred and eighty six kilojoules per mile, and because that's negative, that is exothermic. Here we have the reaction of uh, chlorine with methane. So first thing I want you to do again is to draw out what's going on. So we have methane and chlorine. Now I know it might seem like a drag drawing out all of these, but in the exam it's a stressful situation. You might make a silly mistake. So it's easier, what well, I think the best thing for you to do is to make sure that you don't make a mistake by taking that little bit of extra time and drawing everything out. Okay, so draw a line down the middle. List all the bonds that we've got. So we've got a chlorine hydrogen, a uh, carbon hydrogen bond, and we have a chlorine chlorine bond. Here we have a chlorine cl uh, carbon chlorine bond and a hydrogen chlorine bond. So um, count up the number of bonds. So carbon hydrogen bonds one, two, three, four. Chlorine chlorine bonds one, two, three, four. Uh, carbon chlorine bonds, one, two, three, four. And then hydrogen chlorine bonds, one, two, three, four. So from the equation, we know that the bonds energy for a carbon a hydrogen bond is 413. So 4 times 413 equals 1652. From the equation, we know that, uh, from the question, sorry, we know that in bond energy for chlorine chlorine bond is 242. So 242 times 4 equals 9, 6, 8. Add those two together. And we get 2, 6, 2, 0. Moving on to the other half of the equation, the bond energy for a carbon chlorine bond is 3, 4, 6. So 4 times 3, 4, 6 equals 1, 3, 8, 4. The bond energy for a hydrogen chlorine bond is 4, 3, 1. So 4 times 4, 3, 1 equals 1, 7, 2, 4, add those two together, and we get 3, 1, 0, 8. So to finish it off, reactants minus, oops, Reactors minus products 2, 6, 2, 0, minus 3, 1, 0, 8 equals 
3188 kilojoules per mole and because it is minus it is exothermic. Okay, now we've had a few a go at a few of these together. I'd like you to pause, um, try the video, try the question for yourself, then restart the video and check your answers. So the first thing we need to do again is to draw what's happening. So methane burns completely in oxygen, calculate the energy change. The, I made this question a bit harder because I haven't given you the equation. So we need to work out the equation first. So C H4, that's methane plus oxygen. This is a hydrocarbon burning completely in oxygen, keyword there. So uh, our products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. We're going to need to balance this equation. So over this side I have four um, hydrogens and over this side I have two. So balancing equations can always be a bit of trial and error. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a two in there. Um, so carbons, I have one carbon here, I have one carbon here, I have four hydrogens here, I now have four hydrogens here. Um, I've got two oxygens here, I've got two oxygens here, and I've got two oxygens here. This is four on this side of the equation, so I need to pop a two in there to make it balanced. Now I need to draw what's going on. So methane. Plus oxygen, oxygen gas is a double bond, and we have two of them in this equation. Carbon dioxide, there are some more double bonds going on here. I have made this deliberately tricky. The questions in my videos do get harder as we go along. If you're confused about how to draw these, or you draw them wrong, but you continued on having a go, um, maybe pause now and have a look again at your answer if you got the first bit wrong, and see if you can correct it. So draw a line down the middle, draw what types of bonds we've got. So on this side we've got a carbon-hydrogen bond and an oxygen-oxygen bond. Here we have an oxygen-carbon bond, and we have a hydrogen-oxygen bond. So if we count the number of bonds, we have one, two, three, four carbon-hydrogen bonds. And we have one, two oxygen-oxygen double bonds. We have one, two carbon-oxygen double bonds. And we have one, two, three, four oxygen-hydrogen bonds. So the bond energy from the question for a carbon hydrogen bond we can see is 413. So 4 times 413 equals 1652. And the bond energy for an oxygen oxygen double bond from the question we can see is 498. So 2 times 498 equals 996. Add those two together. And we get 2, 6, 4, 8. Moving on to the other half. So for an oxygen carbon bond, uh, oxygen carbon double bond, the bond energy is 805. If I just put that at a slight angle, 2 times 805 equals 1610. We have four oxygen hydrogen bonds, and their bond energy is 464. So 4 times 464 four equals 1856. Add those two together and we get 3466. Six. So reactants minus products 2648 minus 3466. Six equals 2648 minus 3466 equals minus 818 kilojoules per mole and this is exothermic. 
sometimes in the exam you'll be able to check logically if you know um, your answer is correct. This is an exothermic and I've told you that methane burns. If you got an endothermic answer for this, you've made a mistake somewhere. Um, it's always good just to check that your answer correlates to the question. When stuff burns, we know it gets hot, so we're expecting an exothermic answer. So in this question we're going to look at the energy change when ammonia is manufactured by the hub process. So the first thing we need to do is to work out our equation. So we have hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas and this is a reversible reaction into ammonia which is NH3. We need to balance this equation and we can do this bit by trial and error. So we have two nitrogens over this side so let's try that with two over here. So we have two nitrogens here and two nitrogens here, but we have six nitrogens over this side and only two over this side, so it's got three there. And see if that balances. And yep, everything is now balanced out. So, first thing we need to do is to draw everything. So, hydrogen, gas, we have three of those. Um, nitrogen, nitrogen is actually a triple bond but um, explaining everything didn't have a symbol for that, so I used an equal sign and then drew on top of it. And it's not very clear, but that's best I'm do, I'm afraid. And then ammonia is in this shape here. So next thing we need to do is to draw our line down, make the list of the type of bonds that we have. So we have hydrogen-hydrogen bonds and a nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond. So hydrogen hydrogen bonds, we have one, two, three of them. And the bond energy for that is four, three, six. So three times four, three, six equals one, three, zero, eight. And we have one nitrogen nitro triple bond, and the bond energy for that is nine, four, five. 1 times 9, 4, 5 equals 9, 4, 5. Over this side we have um, nitrogen hydrogen bonds and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. And the bond energy for that is 391. So 6 times 391 equals 2, 3, 4, 6. Let's add these together on this side, 1308 plus 945, 2253. So reactants, minus products, 2253 minus 2346 equals 2253 minus 2346 equals minus 93 kilojoules per mole. And this is exothermic. And again, you can use um, your own logic to check this is correct because um, hopefully you know from your other studies that their production of ammonia, the forward reaction, is exothermic.